QuickBooks Online 2024 Keyboard Shortcuts. Get ready because we're moving on up with QuickBooks Online. Here we are online in our browsers searching for QuickBooks Online Test Drive. Looking for the result that has Intuit.com and the URL. Intuit being the owner of QuickBooks. Selecting the United States version of the software and verifying that we're not a robot. Opening up our major financial statement reports like we do every time. Reports on the left hand side. And then we're going to be in our favorites, right clicking on the balance sheet, open link in a new tab, right click on the profit and loss, open link in a new tab. Here's the links up top, middle tab, closing the hamburger, there's our balance sheet. Tab to the right, closing the hamburger, there's our income statement or profit and loss. Back to the first tab, that's the setup process that we do every time. Data input on the first tab, then looking at the results to the tabs to the right for the financial statements and related reports. We're now going to be taking a look at shortcuts. We've listed out some of these keyboard shortcuts over here in OneNote. Possibly we'll provide you a link to this or a PDF file, but you can also generally find this information by searching in your favorite browser for QuickBooks Online keyboard shortcuts. Now the general rule would be that if we can do more on the keyboard, less on the mouse, the faster we will be. Although which keyboard shortcuts will be most important to you will be dependent in part on what kind of accounting you're doing uh, within QuickBooks. What are the forms that you're using most often? And those are the shortcuts that might be most important to you. Also, some of these shortcuts might be related to basically general uh, windows in general. So let's just go through some of these and I'll give some commentary and we'll test out a few of them. So how to open a second window. So for Internet Explorer, you could say con press Control plus N, Firefox and, and Chrome. So if we go over here and if I'm, if I'm in Internet Explorer and I say, uh, hold on, I clicked on the name and I say uh, Control plus N, it's going to open up a new window. Now note it, op it opened up outside of where I was before. So I could grab this tab up top and then just snap it over here. And there, and so now it's opened up the window and I can drag it basically into uh, place. And so let's take a look at the next ones. How to search for text in a window. So you can say Control plus F works in Internet Explorer, Firefox, and Chrome and Internet Explorer. So we can say Control F if we want to uh, search for text within a window. So if I'm within here, let's see if I could just go within here and we'll say Control F. And then we have our search field up top. If I, if I search for customer, so now it's, it's searching within the window for that particular word. So that can be a useful uh, tool, a useful shortcut. How to enter dates. So we have our fields. We have next day. This is one I use all the time and the previous day. And then you could use these if you want to get to today, the T, although today is usually the default. You can go to the first day of the week, W, last day of the week, K, first day of the month, M, last day of the month, H, first day of the year, Y, last day of the year, R, press Alt plus down arrow to open the pop-up calendar icon. So let's check that out. Let's open up an invoice and we can say that if I'm in the date field and I want to go up or down, I use this all the time. You hit the plus button to go up, you hit the minus button to go down. That's very uh, useful. And then you can say T, if I select T, it goes to the current day. If I select W, it goes to the first day of the week. If I select K, it goes to uh, the last day of the week. If I select M, then it's going to go to the first day of the month. H, it's going to go to the last day of the month. And then Y, first day of the year. And then R, the last day of the year. So you might not use all of those, but the current day might be useful first day of the month, depending on what you're doing. So you could say Control, uh, con uh, Alt, and the down arrow will give you the drop down. That to me is not fully useful because you're probably then going to use your mouse anyways. So I would think clicking the little <laughs> button right here is, is going to be about the same amount of time, I would think, generally. 
but you have that one. So how to calculate amounts and rates. So in any amount or rate field, enter a calculator. When you use a tab, QuickBooks Online calculates the result. So we can add, we can subtract, we can multiply and divide within a field. This is something I don't take advantage of as often as I, as I should, but but if, if I wanted to calculate something within a field, let's actually open like a bill this time. Let's open like a expense form and say I wanted to calculate the amount here. So I could say plus, uh, or let's say that I was gonna say 100 plus uh, 700 or something like that, it'll it'll then calculate it to 800. Obviously, most Windows uh, computers also have a calculator. I've noticed if you pull out the calculator here, it's a little annoying because the calculator sometimes gets behind the screen like this. If you want it to stay before the screen, then in this Windows, you can you could select this and now it's kind of stuck there. So even if I pull the screen over, I have my calculator here, which is nice but you still might want to do some calculations within here. So if you just type in as if this is the calculator, we can do a subtraction. I could say 100 minus 60 tab, and then it will record it. We can do multiplication five times seven tab 35, and we can do a division 70 divided by five is 14. So you can do some quick math within the data input fields. Not all data input fields have the capacity to do the math, so you kind of have to test it out and see which fields have it and which fields do not, but that's a pretty little bit faster than pulling out the trusty calculator or like getting into Excel or something. Uh, how to move around fields on most forms. Tab uh, to go forward, shift tab to go back, use the space bar uh, to check uh, to check a checkbox field. So uh, 